Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. As some of you might have heard, there is a new Kickstarter campaign around for a design tool called Akira. I'd like to talk a little bit more about this campaign and this tool in particular, so let's see what it's all about and why it's important. What is Akira? Well, here is a word of the main developer on the project. The goal of Akira is to offer the same slick and intuitive user experience and workflow currently provided by all the modern and proprietary design applications available for macOS and Windows. Designing on Linux is hard. There are no specific open source tools that can match up to the power of Sketch, Figma or Adobe XD. Akira aims to change that by building an open source design tool. You could design on GIMP or on Inkscape, but they are not aimed at specifically designing user interfaces or mockups. Akira will be, though, and it will be developed in Vala and GDK3. It will also be distributed on the Elementary OS App Center and through Flatpak, and since it will be open source, anyone will be free to repackage it and distribute it by other means. Why a Kickstarter campaign? I'm not a big fan of Kickstarter or crowdfunding in general. Too many projects have already disappeared with their users' money, and I tend to avoid them generally. So why would I contribute to this one, and why would I push you to contribute to this one? But I think the project is awesome. The mockups and features listed in the first version on the Kickstarter page are impressive. The software will be open source, which is a huge plus, since anyone will be able to contribute to it and make it better. But wait a minute, open source projects don't usually launch crowdfunding campaigns. Why would this project be different? Why would this one need a campaign? Well, the ambitious goal is to release a fully working first stable version in 4 months, which is highly ambitious. To reach this goal, they have estimated that they will need 4 full-time developers, including elementary OS and GNOME application developers, as well as a bit of hardware to try the software on and to try out performance, debugging and compatibility. This budget is further enlarged by the commission Kickstarter perceives, as well as an insane amount of taxes, which stems from the employing of three other developers full-time, which brings the total to around 43,000 euros, which translates to about $50,000. This might seem like a lot, and it is, but the Kickstarter page has a detailed rundown of all expenses if you're curious about that. As of this video's pre-production, the campaign has gathered around 5,000 euros, so more than 10% of the total amount. Still, why make a campaign? This kind of project could be done without raising money, but it would take a lot longer. As Alex, the main developer, says in his video on the Kickstarter page, I've been trying to code Akira for the better part of last year, and I realized that it's just too massive of a project for me to handle by myself. I expect that without the campaign, Akira could not see the light of day before 2020, or maybe not at all. What will Akira do? Well, the feature list is impressive. Akira will be a full-fledged design tool with a fully native code base, so no JavaScript, Electron, or other non-native, poor-performance technologies. The interface will support a dark and light theme, and the icons will be tweakable to adapt to how you want to use the software. Akira will also build its own vector SVG canvas, and will open-source that library so it can be reused on other projects. All the shapes integrated into a project will be editable in two different modes, a simple one to resize and modify the proportions, and a more complex one, treating each shape as a path that you can then transform, apply Bezier curves to, or even break open. Akira will of course support layers with a dedicated panel. It will allow for artboards, groups, individual layers, complete with drag and drop reordering, and renaming of any layer. Akira will interface with the GDK font manager at first, with plans to create a custom font manager later to support web fonts more easily. Akira will save in its own custom JSON format, which means it will be quite legible, even without having access to the software, and it will support SVG, PNG, JPEG, and PDF export. And these are only the features planned for the first version. This is a large scope for a first draft, and it further justifies the time that needs to be spent on coding the project. Why is it important? Well, at the moment, designing on Linux involves using Inkscape, which is a good program but with a complex user interface and subpar integration in both GDK and KD desktops, or working on GIMP, which is not that well suited for mockups and designing workflows. Akira has the potential to change all of that and bring a real, complete and easy to use design tool that can match up, in time, to the likes of Sketch on Mac OS X or Adobe XD. How to contribute? Well, if, like me, you really want this project to succeed and be released in a timely manner, you know what to do. Head over to the Kickstarter page and support the project. 
Any amount will do with larger contributions granting you a place in the app's credits, as well as stickers, t-shirts, tutorials, and even voting rights on which features will take priority. Head over to the Kickstarter page, which I linked in the description below, and let them know if this can interest you. So I hope you guys will see the potential of this tool, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one, and bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye!